These guys are um, called surface dwellers, and com they're called composting worms. So they're going to eat whatever's organic material that's on the top of, of the ground if you find them out in, in the dirt. We really don't find them here in Bend um, because the soil isn't rich enough. They're not going to survive. Um, the, the worms that we would find here in, in Central Oregon are called um, night crawlers. They're, they're, de they're burrowing worms. They're deeper. So um, these worms will eat um, what's put on the surface a lot faster and a lot quicker and um, and it's easier because the night crawlers won't survive in this type of bedding material. It's too shallow um, and they're not going to go down in the foods because you usually put, just put the food on the top. Uh, sweet foods, melons, cantaloupe and watermelon and, and strawberries but I, I think <laughs> they really like cantaloupe because it goes pretty quickly. You don't want to put meat or dairy in there so, um, so definitely stay away from meat, dairy and the vegetable part would be onions and garlic. So this will probably be gone in a month. And this blanket, like this sort of newspaper covering, helps reduce fruit flies. I just think it's a very easy thing to do, composting with the worms. Um, they eat um, the food a lot faster than just a freestanding composting pile. Some people have a composting pile just out in the corner of the yard where they put their, their yard debris and food scraps in there. And I've just been hearing it takes a lot longer. It takes, you know, a year for them to have rich compost versus um, composting with worms, red wigglers, um, I'm finding in the summer it takes about a month to to three months to have that gone. I don't have to buy fertilizer again for my plants and I just use what what the worms are producing for me and um, and it and it's and it's working pretty well for the past year.